Welcome to another parent-teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. Welcome to lesson 35, subtraction to 18. And here's what you will need for this lesson. Paper, pencil, several printables from the early gifted manual. This one is called subtraction to 15, subtraction to 18. And then we have a table that uh, we'll use towards the end of the lesson called subtraction facts. And finally, for the printables, we have a mixed uh, problem set, addition and subtraction to 18. And of course, this, this uh, uh, makes the challenge greater because uh, at this point, your child will have to use two different strat strategies and go back and forth between the two. And finally, um, a couple of practice sheets, two practice sheets, subtraction facts to 15 and subtraction facts to 20. And uh, you can access these by going to lesson 35 on the early gifted manual. Okay, let's get started. Let's see, what, uh, what shall we start with here? I think, I think we'll use this one right here, subtraction to 15. And I would like to start this lesson right at using tally marks. Uh, your child may need more support than that. Perhaps uh, you may want to do some of these with counters. And of course, they're much larger numbers, so it'll be a bit more of a challenge. Or perhaps a 0 to 20 number line, you, you may want to work with that. And uh, you may absolutely uh, actually have to work with that if uh, if these bigger numbers are presenting a, a problem for your child. So do whatever you need to do. Hopefully your child will be ready to tackle uh, one of these uh, uh, practice sheets here, uh, starting with tally marks. So let's do that. Here's the procedure. We've already done this with 10, and now, of course, we're just uh, working with larger numbers. And because of the fact that we are working with larger numbers, your child is, is going to have to be extremely neat to uh, be able to solve these problems. As you can see, the, the large number there, the, the uh, menu end is 14, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's lots of tally marks. But uh, your, child, your child should be able to do this, make them neatly and far enough apart where he or she can count them individually. And then it tells us 14, take away, subtract, take away eight. And as you remember, we do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now your child merely has to count uh, what's left, what hasn't been crossed out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that is how you solve a line subtraction equation using tally marks. And of course, we're using much larger numbers now. And I think uh, one example uh, should be enough for you here because you've seen it before uh, working with tally marks in this way. And there's another technique they can use with their fingers. Uh, with the smaller numbers, uh, we use this technique. Let's say 5 minus 3 equals how many? If you remember from, uh, I can't remember, it was a lesson or two ago, uh, 
to solve five minus three, uh, your child put out five fingers and put down three of them, and of course two were left. Well, with these bigger numbers, you really can't do that because you don't have 13 or 12 fingers. So here's a better way, and you, could, you're, you can have your child kind of switch over to this way. So let's work this problem. So you can have her read the equation. 13 minus 7 equals how many? And I don't know if you could really call this counting on, I guess you could, but this is a technique that works for solving these problems. So uh, you have seven, and you want to count on verbally to 13, and every time you say a number, you put out a finger. So it works like this. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And now your child has to count the number of fingers uh, he or she has out. And some can do this just by looking, and uh, one of the things you may want to teach them, I can't really show this on the camera, to count each finger individually, they can bring it up and tap, tap them one at a time on their cheeks to, to count them all. So, because uh, of course they don't have an extra hand to, or an extra finger to do the counting. So there you have it. 13 minus seven equals six. Let's do one more. 12 minus eight equals how many? So counting on from eight up to 12, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and there is the answer, as your child can count them off one at a time, either like this, two, three, four, or on her cheek, one, two, three, four, and there's the answer. So hopefully uh, you can get to the point with these where that's, uh, his or hers ex exclusive method of, of solving these on, on the fingers with the technique that I've just shown you. Uh, and then of course, uh, your next goal is, is for your child to memorize all of these. And, and of course, as I told you uh, previously, that's going to take a while. But uh, you want to get to this point, counting on the fingers and leaving everything else behind because as I've said so many times, that's what numbers are all about. It's about eliminating counters and number lines and things like that and being able to work just with numbers. So that's subtraction to 15. And of course, here's a similar uh, uh, practice sheet, subtraction to 18. You can uh, work those problems out uh, either with tally marks or finger counting. And finally, there's a, uh, we have this one, addition and subtraction to 18. And like I said earlier, it really increases the challenge because now your child will have to uh, be able to use uh, two different strategies interchangeably. So uh, uh, he or she will definitely need, more than likely will need some support with these. Maybe not, I hope not. So uh, that's, uh, line addition, or excuse me, line subtraction to 18 and, and uh, two different techniques uh, you can use to, to solve those uh, line subtraction equations. And now let me give you uh, a few ideas for teaching column subtraction to 18 to your child. And I think the first thing we have to do and um, She's seen this before. You could say, well, uh, here's, here's a, a problem for you. 13 minus six equals how many? And you can remind her that, uh, well, there's two ways that you can write that out. 13 minus six equals how many in a line? Or it can also be written like this, 13 minus six equals how many? And that, of course, is in a column. So just uh, give uh, him or her a little reminder about that, uh, that now uh, in, the, in, in this particular lesson with her, you will be uh, doing column subtraction all the way to 18. So I think uh, the best way to start this lesson is uh, let's bring in one of these uh, practice sheets 
uh, here that I was uh, that I mentioned way at the beginning of the lesson, and um, you could start out by just uh, having him read some of these problems uh, just to get familiar with the the format, or uh, a little more familiar with the format. Uh, he's seen them up to 10. 13 minus 6 equals how many? 11 minus 5 equals how many? And so on. Uh, have have uh, him or her read a few of those, just so uh, 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 you can see that they, they understand how to read them and what, uh, and what the problem is actually saying. So, uh, I would say um, work your way through this practice sheet and the other one, I think uh, I'll give you a quick look at this, just like this except a subtraction facts to 20. And I would start out uh, using the finger counting method and then after a few I would switch over to uh, the uh, subtraction facts table. So. I'm not actually going to do one because we've done them before, how to solve some of these using uh, finger counting. I'm just going to put in the answers here. So let's say you've gone through a few of these. And now you can say to your child, you know, I want you to, to learn all of these uh, differences that we're computing here without having to use anything, just knowing them in your head. And you can introduce her to uh, the subtraction facts sheet and uh, explain what's going on with this. So here's how you read the subtraction facts sheet. Here is uh, the menu end is over here, the larger number. Let's uh, pick this one out here. Five minus, and let's say, 2, 5 minus 2. So in this uh, row here, you're working in this row and this column. And you remember how he did this with the addition facts. You have to uh, go to where this row and this column meet. 5 minus 2 equals 3. So uh, show him how, how to use this. And as I mentioned uh, back when we used the addition facts uh, tables, you can make uh, these out of uh, construction paper, and let me give you an example. Let's say uh, six, where we want to uh, uh, solve the equation six minus four equals how many? Well, your child may have a really difficult time uh, following those to the intersection of the, of the row and the column, so of course you can do this, and that makes it a lot easier. 6 minus 4, 2. So there's a little aid you can use when you're using this uh, subtraction facts table. So um, I would continue on with him or her, finishing all of these, going on to perhaps uh, the next practice sheet and working just with the table because, because it, as I have said so many times, uh, that's where we're headed. We're headed with... Uh, uh, um, making your child a master of, of numbers. Uh, that's what we're looking to do. So we can drop all of these uh, helpers, these counters and the number line and tally marks and stuff like that. So um, let's see, what else do I want to say about this? Oh, perhaps uh, one more thing. Uh, and this is actually a very important point. I'm going to move this out of the way. As you can see, it is very important uh, exactly how you write this. Uh, of course, 12 minus 6 equals how many? That's the problem. We know that 12 is 1, 10, and 2 ones. And this is 6 ones, not 6 tens. So in other words, here, let me get my piece of paper back here. Uh, if and you can explain this to your child or you can wait till he or she makes the mistake because then it might even have more meaning. So 12, let's say he writes it like this. And of course, uh, that's going to cause problems later on uh, when we get into bigger numbers. So uh, do what I just did. Make it very clear to him that it needs to be 
written like this because it's not six tens, remember? This is the tens column, this is the ones. It's not six tens, it's six ones. So the alignment of numbers in these columns, of course, is very important, and especially so when we get into uh, the larger numbers. So that is lesson 35, subtraction to 18.